At around 10 a.m. yesterday, members of the International Christian Fellowship Church discovered that these fences were taken down by the other church party. This triggered a scene where the church group vented their frustration at the other party for demolishing the fences without warning. Line blow me all the time back side penis, all the frustrated. Na this lot of talk, I'm a big lot of mass. Na I'm by in and up and now, I'm by me bla. I got thinking law go through long highest court of the land. Na by me bla said in this land. According to this letter from the Department of Lands and Physical Planning. This portion of land, Section 291, Allotment 14, is under investigation, as given that the International Christian Fellowship Church and the Revival Centers of PNG are fighting over the land ownership. The letter further states that the International Christian Fellowship Church can occupy the parcel of land until the investigation is fully completed. Based on the letter, the land information records indicate that the International Christian Fellowship Church has occupied and have developed this land since 2007 and should continue developing the land until further notice. On the other hand, the MS Wagambi lawyers acting on behalf of the Revival Centers of PNG has served a notice dated 23 July 2016 to the International Christian Fellowship Church to remove illegal fencing on the piece of land. The notice outlined that the Revival Centers of PNG as the legal and proper title over the land, described as Allotment 14, Section 291 at Erico. The land title was given to the Revival Centers of PNG by the Lands Board. According to the notice served on them, they were instructed to pull down the fence that was erected within seven days of the notice being served. Uh, we, they asked us to follow the normal process. Then we applied for a permit, and the permit was granted to us. And then we went in there, we started cleaning. And the, and the process is steadily cleared in the permit. The permit does not allow a certain person or someone to go in and put a permanent structure like what our other uh, uh, group did. But the lawyer representing Revival Center of PNG says the church has proper legal title over the land given by the Lands Board. Thus, the decision of the Lands Board overrides the letter written by the Department of Lands and Physical Planning. Mata Luis, National MTV News, Lay.